What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in NASCAR Heat 5 once again here today, doing what was one of the most highly requested things for us to do in our next NASCAR Heat 5 video, and that is to show off all the paint schemes that are available in the game at launch, including the DLC schemes from the pre-order bonus and the gold edition. So we'll start here with the Cup Series, and we will move down to the Xfinity Series, the Truck Series, and the Dirt Series, and show all the paint schemes off that are available in the game. I have this footage in the background sped up so that you can get through all the paint schemes in a fairly timely manner and we can still get to the racing and keep everything kind of nice, short, sweet, and compact. So with that, we will let the paint scheme scroll and we will get ready to head to Pocono for a Truck Series race, Xfinity Series race, and a Cup Series race so we can show off all of the top three series on the track at a track that I'm not very good at because uh, it's about time I get good at Pocono. It's only been five heat games and I'm still terrible. So maybe it's time for us to finally do something about that and maybe today will be the day. So enjoy these schemes. We'll get racing in just a few minutes. And we're back, and I think I know exactly what truck I want to use. We got to use this beautiful Chase Elliott truck and go try and catch a bounty out here. So as we pace here at Pocono Raceway, usually Chase Elliott is the babyface character, but in the truck series, you got to be a heel if you're a cup driver. I mean, this is ridiculous. Leeching in the truck series as a cup driver. What a despicable sight that is. And none of the stories of the race are my leechiness. It's all about Natalie Decker and Tyler Ankrum being off the pace. You hate to see it, but we love to see us getting ready to go green. So how will we fare here at our first try at our worst track in pretty much the history of the NASCAR Heat franchise, Pocono Raceway. 
We're across the line. We're underway. Let's see how this goes. Crafton did not get a good start at all. We're already rocketing right past him, and we might get Austin Wayne self and Gillen here going three wide. Self says no, thank you. Backs clean out of it before the corner. And we get a nice run into turn one. Almost too nice. We're running. I almost packed Eckes right up in the first corner. That would have been tragic. Do not need the turn one meme coming into play here today. And we'll be able to clear Eckes down the first straightaway that I cannot remember the names of the straightaways all the time, but I got the corners down pretty well. So we go into the worst corner of them all, the tunnel turn. Just so tight and deceiving through there. And if you're anything like me, end up hitting that exit wall. Just got to be careful through there as we get a big run on Zane Smith down into turn three. Oh, we're going to get up and hit him, but we hold on to it. We get the power down kind of early, too. Might get a little run on him on the corner exit. If we get a big draft from Hill here, we certainly will clear him, and we do. And now we've got a big pull from in front of us, the draft. Oh, I can feel it now, Mr. Krabs. We're getting a huge suck. We're going to go right past Hill. We're bouncing off the rev limiter and get to the tail of Sauter, but we have to let out of it. We bounce off a hill and go up the hill, and that's going to cost us a little bit of momentum, and Zane Smith's going to go back by us on the inside. But we are not out of this thing yet. We've still got some drafting help. We got to clear Zane before the Careful, tunnel turn. Please there. let me get through here single right, file because I can barely do it on my own half the time. Car there on the it has definitely gotten better since he Nobody like three, but oh my goodness, did Zane just try my outside? So maybe the tunnel turn isn't as big of a concern as I thought. We've been getting through there pretty well because we got a nice run on Hill now. Still there. And that would be nice to put him away and then focus on that race lead solder before he gets a chance to pull away too much with the half of a race that we have Still left. There. Of course, I didn't get the clear hill off the corner. Now I'm stuck outside of the wow, draft. This bad. is a bad situation, but I think I'm about to clear. I'm just power, clear straight right. power down the straightaway. And we've got him beautifully. Right side. Oh, don't clown up the first corner though. I almost did. I went in way high. I got to get down. Not that low, not on the apron low. That's going to be loose. Oh, clear. hills in my bumper and I'm in the wall. And we take out three of the top four. Oh, no, my ass. Oh, God. Oh, my good gracious. What the hell was that supposed to be? Just a triple ass pack of death and doom after the caution is out. Well, now that we're done looking like that guy from the Alaskan Bullworm episode of SpongeBob, we do actually have a green-white checker finish to this race on our hands. Unfortunately, of course, we have to do it from the back of the pack now that our truck was completely destroyed. The turn Nobody one meme got back. us. It got us. So we got to try and salvage what we threw away now. And I'm going to try and ride this outside Clear lane robot. by all the slow pokes. Let's see if I can get some easy spots here as we get a couple on the outside. Put it in the back of Majeski. Don't want to wreck anybody. And we're going to get our Left way down to the Clear. bottom. Look at us Got cutting through right this now. pack. Look at this. We're getting by everybody. We're going to crack the top 20 here. That's 12 positions down right there. We're barely half a lap in, in the tunnel turn. And all right, the fresh tires clear. feel so good in the tunnel turn. Oh, that was beautiful. That felt great. And look at this absolutely disgusting run down into turn three. Sheldon Careful, Creed didn't even know what there. to do. He was like, oh, do I take the bottom lane? Or this guy's here on me. He didn't have time to react. All clear. No pressure from I almost behind. got to push from behind there. Somebody was getting run and then they backed out of it. What a scrub. Come on, Eckes. Let's get a little side draft going here. Last lap. White flag is in the air. We're going to dive it down on Herbst. I didn't know which lane he was going to take, so we'll take the bottom. Oh, Rose, take it easy, buddy. I don't like that swerving. Oh, Moffat might finally be the one to hold us up. Oh, get off the apron. Don't be on the apron. When am I going to learn? When will you learn? That aprons have consequences. Look at this three wide. This doesn't right, have any consequences at all. We're going right Looking through the middle again into the top 10. Just can't have a bad tunnel turn right here. I need a good run out of here, and I think I'm going to get one. We do. Oh, come on. Give me at least a couple more spots. Give me a top five. Let's get it. Oh, I got to send it on in finger. I didn't have the guts. That would have been way got too deep. But cra look at craft. Look at these guys around me. All these trucks are destroyed. How are they outrunning me? What is that? Well, at least we're going to beat him to the line, but what in the world? We come up with six. What a recovery after a really foolish mistake on my part. At least we got ourselves back in that thing at the end. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at the shop. Ready for our Xfinity race to start here. I'm going to roll out with the number 22, Austin Sindrick for Team Penske. Let's see how it goes. 
Well, here we are, lining them up again, ready to go at the Tricky Triangle. We have got the stories of the race. Chase Briscoe is on the pole. We've got Jeff Green giving a qualifying position for new tires. I don't think you can do that anymore. I think that got outlawed by NASCAR, didn't it? And you've got Landon Castle subbing in for the roller skater man himself for that Morgan Shepard machine with an engine change. All We're right, as green. we are rolling up here ready. to the line, getting ready for that green flag to fly. They're fanned out a bunch of lanes wide before it even goes. And we are off and across the line. We are on the way, and I'm going for the inside right away on Jeffrey Earnhardt to get around him. Because for some reason, these guys on the inside line, they do not get going as well as I do. We must have the restart gear in this thing today because we are getting right down to turn one. As easy as you please on the apron, though. Not where we want to be. Sneaking by David Starr in the six. Surprised to see him all the way up here, to be totally honest with you. But we've cracked the top five in the first corner. That is what you love to see. Careful, still there. Let's see. Are we really going to try and play this game with Herps? It looks like we're going to be kind of boxed in here on the bottom. So, oh, we can take still it super there. duper low. Right side. It's nice that it doesn't actually wreck you. In the older heat games, that apron was not very smooth, and still you would there. go wrecking for sure if you touched it. Now you can get all over that bad boy, it seems like. Just like how I'm getting all underneath Riley Herps here for third. We Clear do. We get into the back of Burton a little bit. I'll give him a push. Come on, let's see if we can go catch the leader up there. Is that Briscoe? Let's go get him. Oh, I'm getting a push from behind myself now. Here comes the 18 back into the tunnel turn. Not sure the tunnel turn is where I want to push. But I actually got through there really well. That is going to help. All right, come on. Let's get that big old run on Burton. We'll take it clean to his inside here in turn Careful, three. Still there. Get that corner, rotate, and get the power down nice and early. Oh, we're going to blow his doors off on the Go corner exit the there. And we complete the pass. And not only did we do that, we set ourselves up for a pass on Briscoe here. We are Five sitting in the draft. Here we go. Let's get ourselves to the point. Bye-bye, Briscoe. We'll go by you for the lead. Back. Thank you very much. Now we got to get it woed down for the first corner and get it down in the groove. Get back on the power at the right time. Looks like Hold Briscoe got there way before I did. He got a huge run that I had to block. Now, I can't be doing that. I'm going to wreck us all if we keep that up. Oh, and a caution has come out. I wonder what that would be for. Have a good day. Well, I Drive don't know safe. what caused the caution yet, but I do know that we have another green-white checker finish if NASCAR overtime lined up, and we need to have a solid two laps here as we get an absolutely disgusting restart to launch us out in front of everybody else. And the question now, of course, would be, can we maintain this lead out here by ourselves for two more laps at a track that I struggle at so much? It's going to be tough. This is not going to be easy. I got to keep those guys at bay and not put this thing in the wall. White flag. White flag. One out. lap to go. The pressure is on. We've held the med bay for one lap, but we've got to do it for one more. Down into turn one, a little bit lower than I wanted to be. Didn't get quite the arc that I needed, and that's going to hurt me on the gas again. All right, not the turn one that I needed right there. That is not very good for the confidence and pressure factor. But if we can get through this tunnel turn right here solid, I think we can survive. Let's just get through here without any issues. Use a little apron to turn it. Oh, we're going to come out close to the wall, but we're good. We are still good. He definitely gained on us back there. Jones is getting ever closer. If we just park it on this inside here and block if he gets there, because he's that definitely there. He uh, is there, clear. but he's not close enough, and we're going to get to our strong point of the track. Off the final corner, down the straightaway. We are going to take the win here at Pocono in the Xfinity Series. That feels good. And I forgot about the burnouts. We got to hit a burnout, of course. We can't just leave here without a burnout. We said it last week. Is it a win if you don't do a burnout? Absolutely not. So we must burn it down here for all the people who we wish could be at Pocono right now. But instead, we'll do it for all these virtual fans here at Pocono. Look at this thing. This car, I love this car. It looks like a tub of mint chocolate chip ice cream sprouted wheels and was like, I'm going to go fast. Way to get the dub. We sit in victory lane now here at Pocono. One of the more iconic victory lanes that there are on the circuit. And we have got that trophy. We have collected our dub. And now it is time to move up to the Cup Series. Well, we are here. We have used the Chevrolet and a Ford today. So why don't we cap things off 
with a Toyota and one of the cooler paint schemes that I think is around nowadays. The new Interstate Batteries car is beautiful. Let's see if we can't go park this thing in Victory Lane too. Well, lining them up here at Pocono Raceway for the final time of the day. We got the stories of the race. Of course, Chase Elliott doesn't look like himself, probably because we neutered all of his confidence earlier in that truck race. Then we've got Denny Hamlin on the pole. And we've got Martin Trex Jr. failing tech inspection. Doesn't have Cole Pern to sneak in all that juicy stuff anymore on the down low. You hate to see it, my friend. And with that, yeah, we yeah. are ready have to go day. racing. Right. The green flag the green. about to go out. And there it is. Start behind our teammate Eric Jones as well. So hopefully he'll be able to get a good restart, unlike just about anybody who has started in front of us today. Careful. It appears he has. And he's got Matt the Brad on his outside, too. Good to see Matt Kenseth back in NASCAR heat. Let's see if we can send it off into turn one here. Can I make Careful. a hold out on the bottom? You bet we can. Oh, I'm going to get Bowman while we're at it, too. The Valvoli car. Move him out of the way. There's my boy. Oh, no. Oh, I got to pass Brad Keselowski as Kyle Busch. It burns. Oh, it burned. All the way up. Get up. That Get didn't up. feel good. Oh, that hurt. That hurt my soul. But now I got Joey. I can pass Joey anyway. I like it on my way, Joey. Come on. What are we doing here? Is this amateur hour? Let's see here. All right. We got by the 10. Of Almirola. Go ahead and cut him right off. We got our brother up here. How about this? A little blood on blood racing for second. Still there. Can we get there off of the corner? He got a pretty good run on that outside lane. I'm going to side draft him a little bit. By side draft, I mean do a little Kentucky special on his door. Come on. Still this there. is payback time for that. And how does he have the draft kit? I'm pulling by him. I'm a little all confused clear. by that. Let's see if I can give Hamlin right a now. shot, move clear him up right. the track. We did. We actually did. That worked. I'd call that a bump and run, but I haven't been able to run Careful, for squat because I'm still right here by his side. So this is a, a bit of a half success, I think we'll call this. Come on. I'm not going to let you get away from me, buddy. Still oh, there. my brother is drafting with me. This is a beautiful sight. Come on. Into the tunnel turn. Oh, my God. I did not turn it all. Inside, oh, inside. no. All Very right. Behind. That's okay. May have sent it a tad deep right there. Very easily could have wiped all three of us out. Luckily... Got away with it. Careful, now we can refocus here and push our bro to the lead. Come here. Come here, Denny. Come on. I want second, though. I do want second from you, Careful, and I'm getting that there. Bush brother assist right now. Come on. Give me that draft. There we go. All right. Now, will I be able All to use clear. this on Kurt? Maybe, maybe not. Side by side into turn one. Not something I'm a big fan of. Oh, man, and we are going to stay side by Still side there. all the way through it. Oh, a little contact. Just a little Bush brotherly love right there. No big deal. Now we're racing towards the tunnel turn. This is not a turn I want to take Still too there. wide either, even less than turn one. Oh, God, that contact unsettled the car for the corner. Now. Why? Oh, oh no, no. That's no bad. Everything about this is bad. How am I alive? Hold that Harvick, did you really need to throw it in there? When you see that happening, he took advantage. I'll give him that. Gonna have to bottle up this run for the exit of the corner. Can I get through the tunnel turn good and clean? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, Still how there. about that? Come on, Hamlin, give me that imaginary podium. Get out of my face. Another Still little bit there. of contact. Let's see if we Nobody can slide it that. in there, complete the pass, get off the corner. Not a great corner exit there. He's on the bumper, shoves me right up. But we got a little bit of a suck from ahead, You're so he's going to pull back behind. You're wearing those tires. Well, with tires as worn as ours, I mean, look at this guy. Oh, good God. Yes, tires as worn as this. I don't know that we're going to catch Looking those two out now. in front of us. We might be on save mode All now because no these tires with these adjustments are just destroyed. Oh, and Hamlin's going. got a huge look on my inside. I got to block you, Hamlin. All I'm clear. sorry. Oh, he's going to crash. He has crashed you into the door of Almirola. And I think they both kept it going. That may not be a caution. Well, what a wild race this has wound up to be here as we go through the final corner little, on okay. some pretty destroyed tires here at the end of the run. The setup did not treat up too nice. The times wear multiplier definitely playing a factor here at the end of the race. Awesome. But we will come home in third just holding off Alvarola after we jumped Hamlin to hold on to our last podium spot here. He's got to see that accident here in the replay section. We just took him all the way down to the bottom, and then he comes all the way back up to the top and gets Almirola clean. See it from another angle on the bottom, maybe? Yeah, just took him all the way to the paint and then all the way to the number of the Almirola machine. 
And with that, we can all exhale because the racing has completed three races down three totally different results. A third place finish in the Cup Series race, a win in the Xfinity Series race, and a crash and recovery to sixth in the Truck Series race earlier. And of course, before all that, we showed off the pace schemes. We've had quite an action-packed filled day here in NASCAR Heat 5. So let's show off the results here before we get cracking into the outro. And we'll see where your favorite driver finished in that lineup, in that list. Let me know. And speaking of letting me know, thank you all so much for being so supportive and active on our last NASCAR Heat 5 video. You guys gave me a ton of suggestions, a ton of things you wanted to see out of NASCAR Heat 5. We hit a bunch of them today. Still didn't get a DNF. That'll happen eventually, I'm sure. We didn't crash hard enough with that truck earlier. It can be done. Sometimes you need to hit the wall a couple of times to really get it to be donezo, though. So we'll maybe get to that one eventually here. I know guys have suggested all different kinds of series. I'm really leaning towards a custom championship as of right now to start with. So I think that's probably gonna be what you see coming up next after this video. We might hit up a little bit of Wreckfest first because there has been a Talladega update in that. And then we will jump right back into a nice little mix of the two. So that's the plan for the near future. Hopefully you guys are down with it. If you are, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And we will see you all in the future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Woo!